Hi everyone, it's Dean. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome to our discussion on faith. This is our sixth question out of nine from a book we wrote called Faith 101, The Journey Begins. This began as a result of teenagers coming to us after our events and just asking simple questions about faith. Today's question is this, how is faith released into your everyday life? Great question. Faith, I believe, is released in, into everyday living when, when you and I come to God with a thankful heart, with words of thankfulness and gratitude, and these words are then leading us to actions that require obedience. You see, the, the Bible talks a lot about how actions release faith. Faith comes by hearing. We've talked about that. Faith works by love. We've talked about that. And now we're talking about how faith is released by actions. Well, what does that mean? Maybe it's, maybe it's a kind word that you speak to someone. Maybe it's a, you do something kind for someone else. It's the actions that God, by His Spirit, leads you and I to take. When we take action, we are putting our faith on the line, and we are saying, God, I believe you. I believe your word works. And because I believe it, I'm going to put effort into that which you are calling me to do, action into that which you are calling me to say. If you are not putting action into what you are believing, you might want to consider doing so because when faith is released, it is released by the words you speak and the actions that you perform. Here's what, here's what the Bible says. And sometimes this may, sometimes, let me just be real honest with you. This makes no sense sometimes. Sometimes the things that God instructs you to say or he instructs you to do might have in your mind or in my mind, we may go, Lord, what does that have to do with anything? I mean, I'm believing you for A and you're showing me maybe D, E, and F over here, but it's between A and D that we have those things that perhaps make no sense, but God knows what he's doing. How do I know that? Here's what the Bible says. It's in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27. But God, that's important, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame things which are mighty. In other words, not everything that we are instructed to say or do makes any sense in our natural mind, but faith is a spiritual force, not a mental force. Think about that. God bless you. We'll see you.